Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? So it is the end of July. I just barely made it with my last book review. And that is on George R.R. R. Martin's Game of Thrones and this is part of a series, A Song of Ice and Fire. It is a high fantasy adult novel. I was a little bit wary about the genre because I wasn't too sure how I was gonna like it and if I could absorb all of the information but I made through it guys. Anyways, let's get started on with this review. Let's start off with the synopsis. There's a lot more things going on in what I'm about to say, but I'm going to give it my best shot. So the setting is the Seven Kingdoms, and this mainland is separated into the North, the South, the East, and the West. And our main characters are from the North. They are the Stark family. And so the Warden of the North is Lord Eddard Stark, also goes by Ned. He has five children and one bastard. And so Ned's wife, Caitlin, her sister, here, here we go guys. <laughs> so her sister, she resides in the south and she is actually married to the king's hand who is basically the right hand man of the king. He basically looks after the duties and responsibilities if the king is unavailable. Anyways, and so the king's hand who is Caitlyn's sister's husband I know. He recently passed away and so the king, who is King Robert, he is finding a new hand and he believes that is in Lord Eddard Stark. He becomes a new hand of the king. That's basically where the plot takes off guys. Basically there's a lot of politics involved. There's a lot of family issues. It's twisted. It's twisted I would say. There is regret, resentment, betrayal. There are threats and dangers surrounding his family. He is trying to get to the bottom of what's going on. The only way to do it is to go with King Robert to the south and investigate the death surrounding the previous hand. It all, all comes together, I promise. Let's talk about the characters. So the book is divided into the different perspectives of these characters, mainly the Starks. We have Eddard Stark, we have Caitlin Stark, Bran who is one of the youngest children of the Stark family. There's also Jon Snow who is the bastard of Eddard Stark. There's Sansa who is one of the daughters. So is Arya. Tyrion, the imp, who is amazing. I love him. I thought all the characters were really interesting, fascinating, from the very honorable to the very wicked. What I really liked was their characters were not completely black or white. Except for one, maybe Eddard Stark. He is probably the most honorable character I've ever read. He is really likable and amazing. But anyways, there are surprising, admirable elements to loathsome characters and less than worthy characteristics for characters you want to root for. That's what I really liked about them is they are three-dimensional. There's a lot of backstory to them, circumstances that we're not aware of. What I also found unexpected were some of the characters' perspectives were of children and teens. And I wasn't expecting such young characters to be featured in the series. And so it was really great reading about Bran, who's about seven years old, Jon Snow, and Robert who are 14 years old going on 15. Sansa she is about 10. Arya who's about 9. There's a mix of the young and the older of course. Yeah characters amazing. Let's talk about the writing. The writing was brilliant. How he described the setting, the clothing, the characters were amazing. Very detailed, lovely descriptive writing. Reading this book I was wondering when was this originally published? The book was first published in 1996 so that's quite a while ago, over 10 years ago. And so I thought the writing had a really timeless quality to it. It's high fantasy. It takes place in an alternate medieval kind of setting. There's the ye old speak. There's a lot of lords, ladies, graces. There's all of that vernacular going on. But the writing, the sense of humor, the wit, the sarcasm had this really timeless contemporary feel to it a little bit. Especially with Tyrion Lannister, the imp. He is by far my favorite character in the series. He's awesome. So let's talk about the plot, guys. The plot was insane. I'm still in shock and awe how the event unfolded at the end. I was blindsided. I didn't anticipate what was going to happen at the end. This is not happening. This is not happening. Also, there were moments of the book that I felt were anticlimactic. You were just kind of blindsided with really big events happening and they just happened and the story continued. So with that being said guys, I'm going to give Game of Thrones a readable rating. I enjoyed it a whole whole lot. Very long read. I don't know how the series is gonna continue. I don't know how the Seven Kingdoms is going to end up by the end of the series because there's some devastation in this first one. It was pretty much a series in itself already. I felt it was just insane. I am going to continue on with the series. I don't know when, I don't know how, but I will and I want to check it out. Mature content 
of course. Swearing, violence, gore, incest. So if you feel kind of uncomfortable with some of those subject matter, you can keep that in mind. But I highly recommend it, especially if you really enjoy high fantasy novels. This is my first one. I thought it was really amazing. Just the story aspect was really interesting and fascinating and just really epic. It was insane. I'm gonna continue getting these large paperback versions. This cover actually warmed up to me after reading it and I did check out some HBO clips on the internet because I wanted to see the characters. The characters in the TV series, they look much older than the characters portrayed in the books. Understandably so, I think. I think so. Yeah, so that's everything guys. I hope this was a sufficient review. So I'll talk to you guys later and have a good one. Bye!